In continuing coverage, two days after the jury found him guilty of killing four men, Corey Mohammed withdrew his not guilty insanity plea in exchange. The death penalty is no longer a potential sentence. CBS 47's Dennis Valera joined us live at the Fresno County Courthouse. So, Dennis, how does this impact that scheduled hearing on his sanity? Ken, that hearing is no longer happening, which is now opening the door to sentencing. Now, earlier in court, Mohammed seemed pretty at peace with everything when pressed by the judge about withdrawing his plea. All he had to say, it's something I'm willing to sacrifice. Do you have any questions of me about this? How long have you been a this man? <laughs> <laughs> For a man found guilty of murdering four men in 2017, Corey Mohammed was in good spirits today in court. Behind closed doors, his defense team struck a deal. By having Mohammed withdraw his insanity plea, the death penalty would be off the table. One of his attorneys, Richard Beshwaite, says he was encouraged after seeing the jury's verdict return with mostly second-degree murder charges. There was still one count remaining that left him eligible, um, but it, it appeared as though the jury was certainly supportive of the idea that he was suffering from mental health issues. Anything else that, that bothers you or that you're concerned about today? Just to let black people go and land in reparation. Beshwaite feels his client is at peace. Well, he believes he got his message out that that needs to be a focus of, of what at least some people look at and, and he's hoping that people take notice that there, uh, there are issues, racial issues in the country that still need to be addressed. Now it's time for sentencing and for being found guilty in the deaths of Carl Williams, Zachary Randalls, Mark Gassett and David Jackson. The worst Muhammad could get is life in prison without parole. It, the, the whole battle in a case like this, uh, um, from my point of view, is to try to avoid the death penalty. Um, and so we did that. Mohammed's sentencing is scheduled for May 22nd. That hearing begins at 8.30 a.m. Live in downtown Fresno, Dennis Valera, CBS 47, Eyewitness News.